Hi there, Iman here with a new tip of the week. And today we will talk about the schedule. And before preparing for the schedule, I need to show you something here. We have some rooms that are still having the name room, like here, here, and here. And we have other rooms that are having their proper name, like reception, like bathroom, office, and bedroom. How can you change the name of any room? Just select the room itself and come here. So you can give it any name like living room. Something like that. If I need to click here and say this is kitchen. We have here storage area. So let me type storage. Let me add one more thing. I need to place a room here. So this is the room. And here I can type the name, so I need the name to be utilities. Come to modify, because I don't need to add any other rooms. So let me check this room. This is not the reception. I don't need all of this area to be the reception. I need the reception to be only this area, not the stair area. So uh, for this uh, reason, I have to use a room separator. So from room here, I can pick endpoint to the other endpoint and when you come back to modify you can see that your reception area is actually here and this area is not included okay I can rename them later on I can see that the word utilities it's not there so let me type it again enter to accept it and here we go about the numbers we will do that later on in the shadow so how can I create the shadow let me save this first then let me come to here these are the different views of the project i would like to come to schedule right click i need a new schedule this schedule will be for rooms so i have to make sure that i'm selecting only architecture i'll go down i'll select rooms room schedule will be the name i'm happy with that i'll say okay what are the elements that i need to add I need to have the area. I need to have the floor finish. Level. Name. Number. Perimeter. Wall. Finish. And let me now say OK. This is now the schedule. It's not organized. Floor finish and wall finish is not written. Um, I need maybe to start with number, then level, then name, then area, then perimeter, then floor finish and wall finish. We need also to have the total area here and the total perimeter if I need here. Maybe I need to make a kind of filtering using uh, the floor finish. So I need to see every room that is having ceramic to be together every room that is having the floor finish as wood to be uh, separate so this will be our next step and i will do it in another tip of the week i hope you enjoy our tip today see you in another one and thank you